<clears throat> What's going on everybody? My name is Ralph. I am making a review <clears throat> of my Ruger LCP2. Now I just saw a video of a guy that was trying to credit this gun as a fail. I strongly disagree with his video. Now in this video he showed that he was trying to cycle some rounds manually and he kept getting a jam. <clears throat> he showed his other guns, he did the same with his other guns and that they were working perfect. And then he, I went back and I saw the video of the of his uh, Ruger LCP2 and it was jamming up. Now I tried it prior to making this video and yes it was jamming up but here's the thing the reason it's jamming up is because when you cycle some rounds manually it is not the same as when you fire the gun because the slide is supposed to go back faster and stronger than when you do it manually okay Here's an example. Okay, there's no rounds. It's clear. So the way he was doing it, he was holding the gun, he said, no finger on the trigger. Okay. He proceeded by cycling it this way, or this way, or this way, whatever. This is not the same force as when you shoot actually shoot the firearm the slide is supposed to go back faster and harder and that gives the effect enough to shoot that casing out <clears throat> okay now the reason why his round was getting stuck is because um Anybody who's shot a firearm knows that when you shoot a bullet, the case, the casing remains, but the bullet on the front shoots forward, okay? So the reason it was getting stuck is because the bullet was still intact on the casing, okay? And it's just enough space for it to come out of there this port was not meant for a whole bullet to come out through there only the casing the casing is going to be a lot lighter than with the bullet with a with a with a jacket on front of course so it's going to be easier to eject it okay now i am going to cycle it manually the way this gentleman did and you're gonna see that yes it is gonna jam but first things first let me let me show you real quick <clears throat> so I'm gonna load four like he did by the way these are uh, Hornady customs hollow point I don't know I forget how much uh, grain it is but they're uh, 380 ACP Hornady Customs Hollow Point. So there's four. Four rounds. Okay. <clears throat> now slide open. There's one in the chamber. Now watch. See it jammed. Okay? I'm gonna do it again. It's four bullets. One in the chamber. It jammed again. You see? You see how it jammed? The reason why it jams is because the bullet is not supposed to be on there. Just the casing. Only the casing is supposed to eject. No gun ejects the whole bullet by itself or together. 
I mean, that's common sense. Now watch. Okay, it's clear. Now, just imagine it that I'm, I'm firing the gun. One in the chamber. Okay, now. I'm gonna try to do it as quick as I can to simulate the slide going back at the same force as when I shoot the gun. Watch. One. Two. Three. Four. No jams. I'll do it again. One, two, three, four. One in the chamber. Ready? One, two, three, four. No jams. What is the problem? You sent Ruger a gun that is working perfectly. Okay? You, sir, I'm sorry to say, you have no common sense. I know you may have other guns that cycle manually, and, you know, that's good and everything. Nice. Congratulations that you have guns that you like. But no gun is going to spit out a whole bullet with the jacket in the front. Just the casings. Common sense. Okay? I hope... Anybody who sees this video realizes this Ruger is a really good gun. It's very trustworthy. I don't know why Ruger gave him that um, refund. I don't know what happened, but if you shoot the firearm, it should work perfectly and it has worked perfectly for me. I have over a thousand rounds on this gun. Okay? Let me know what you guys think. Bye.